All right, here is an antiqued looking Arturo Fuente box with a 23 inch scale pentatonic plus fretboard. I have antique copper grommets. Anyhow, I am going to put the strings on this thing here. Here's the saddle. So the strings I'm using on these guys here are, they're all wound. And the gauge of the skinny string is 0 0.026. The gauge of the middle string is 0 0.034. And then the gauge of the thick string is 0 0.044. So what I do is I get one of these um, rivet nails right and I just stick it through these holes starting with the uh, thick one the thick string so you can see how that nail goes through there and then the uh, middle string and then the skinny string okay and so now, so now I take the strings and I put them through the hinge. It's like threading a needle. Last but not least, all right, and then just pull it tight so that the bottom of the nail is snug up against the and see how that it works. All right, so now it's just a matter of tuning up. And I did get one of these little tuner dealies that you can plug into your your drill. Okay, so I'm going to start with the skinny guy. Skinny string first. And I pull it just a little bit tight. So you want about maybe two or three wraps around the pole. So I kind of just guesstimate about maybe four inches of pull up here. And I'm pushing down with my index finger right to, to keep tension on the string. And then. My index or my uh, this finger over here can tell when the string is getting tight. You don't want to you don't want to break it, right? So you want to. And I'm sliding the saddle under. Now the middle string. And I'm not tuning these guys up yet. I'm just putting the strings on. Last but not least, the thick string. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the nail through those eyelets and force these strings down. You can see that I got that nail in there now. It's upside down, actually. No, that's right side up. I'm holding it backwards. Sorry about that. 
All right, so now I'm gonna tune it up. Give it a haircut. All right, snag a note. All right, so now we're gonna play that game of stretch the strings. So you can stretch them however you like. What um, You can just pull the string up and then push down here, kind of stretching it out, pull, pull, push. Pull, push, get them all, stretch it down here, stretch it in the middle, stretch it up here. So you might have to do this three or four times. So I was just guessing where this thing was. Dang it, I should have put it in the right spot. Anyhow, it's real important, again, like I say in my other videos, to put this saddle in the exact right spot so that you can intonate this thing. That's what I'm gonna do next. All right, I got the bridge in the right spot now and I got it all tuned up. See my hands are all black from the stain. All right, so what we are gonna do now is get the trusty soldering iron. And I went ahead and burned my name using the soldering iron here. But I'm also gonna put in the, uh, the dots on the top here using the soldering iron. It helps when the soldering iron is nice and hot. Let's see here. Okay, so I'm putting the dots at the third fret, the fifth fret, seventh fret, um, kind of jumping here all the way up to the twelfth fret. Then it'd be the fifteenth, seventeenth, the nineteenth fret equivalents. Now the thing with this particular scale guitar here is that you can see I'm missing some frets, right? So this is technically the second fret, third fret, fifth fret. 6th fret, 7th fret, 10th fret, 12th fret, this would be the uh, 14, 15, 17, 18, and 19th fret, which is the blue scale.
Then what I like about this second fret here is that I can do my blues turn around. All right, so there you have it, the uh, pentatonic plus. Um, it's the basically it's the minor pentatonic scale with an extra second fret and of course the extra flat five. That's it. All right, finally plugged in.